Hey, this is your favorite tech with another tutorial. Be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support. Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the application has failed to start because it's side by side configuration is incorrect. That's an error on Windows. I'm gonna show you how to install that now. So what we're gonna do is go to the search menu and we're gonna go to reg edit and we're looking for the registry editor. We're gonna right click run as admin at the reg editor expand H key local machine folder, drop down, drop down for software folder, drop down for mains Microsoft. We're looking for the Windows folder, follow the path. Okay, Windows drop down, current version. We're looking for side by side, expand that folder. Then winners, expand that folder. We're looking for a x86 inside of that major folder. Okay, now we're in the xi86 section area. Un underscore policy. So, so we're looking for something very specific. You might have to scroll for a while to find this, so it's gonna be like a snake eyes type thing. So just be patient with the process. Hover your mouse over for you can see the entire text. That way you can actually Okay, so we're at the policy section. Then we're looking for dot nine four and dot Microsoft dot VC nine zero dot CRT. So that's the, probably the only one you will see, but it's very specific. Now, now expand that. You're looking for nine point oh. This is very specific instructions. We're looking for the key default key. So the default data should match the highest number of those two blue files. So 9.15 should match the data number. Double click on default, assuming if it's incorrect, and you type in the highest number. So for instance, if the data number is not there, you type in default and enter one that match the highest data number. It's very important that that happens. You can close out a register going to reset your computer hopefully that does resolve your problem now another thing you could do is I want you to open up a web browser doesn't matter if it's Chrome or Edge and we're gonna download Microsoft C++ runtime drivers so we're gonna go ahead and go to Google and type in Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables all right we're gonna go ahead and select the Visual Studio 2015 one. And essentially what we're gonna do is download and install it. So make sure it's English. You can look at your details here to make sure that it's the one that you want. You're gonna click download. And obviously you're gonna, if you got a 64 bit computer, you're gonna select that, press next. And then it's going to start downloading. You're gonna load it up, press run, agree, and just install it. Just follow the instruction and install it. Once it's installed, reset your computer and hopefully that solves your problem hey if you found this video valuable go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel if you subscribe type the phrase i subscribed in the comment section below keep in mind when you subscribe it motivates us to continue to make these free videos lastly if you enjoy learning about technology entrepreneurship or making money online go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel thanks for your support